All right, um, we usually don't like talking about tragedies like this. Yeah, especially yeah. when, yeah. We, we, we like our videos to be lighthearted, but I think it's important that we do discuss this topic. Right. Because we need to paint this picture to the left. And the right. And the right. How the media is pretty much destroying yeah. this country. It's destroying race race relations. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just tearing this whole country apart. Yeah, like when you look at our TVs, that is not journalism. Yeah, it's uh, it's tribalism. Yeah, they painting black versus white, yeah. gay versus straight, Christian versus Muslim. Yeah, I mean, I ha I don't even look at. It. I mean, I look at the news from CNN. I look at Fox. I, you need to when you look at the news, remain objective. Remain objective. Don't believe what you hear on Fox, and really don't believe what you hear on CNN. Yeah, you need to take this information from both sides. And you need to make your own decisions, yeah. your own determinations. Yeah. Um, this country is the greatest country on this planet. Yeah. And uh, as proof, there's millions of immigrants that's non-white try just trying to get here. <laughs> Risking life and limb. Just to get here because it's a land opportunity. But yeah. the story that we want to discuss today is yeah. um, happened in North Carolina. It involved a five-year-old white kid. Yeah, by the name of uh, Cannon Hennett. Yeah, he was just riding his bike. His Mind little, his own business. Mind his own business. Um, his sisters was out there watching him ride his bike. Right. And when a neighbor by the name of uh, Darius Sessoms, who happens to be a black guy, just came over yeah. and shot the kid in the head. Mm. Now, when, yeah. And, and to I, our knowledge, there were neighbors, they were cordial, they yeah. even knew each other. Yeah, the Darius Sessoms, the guy that shot the five-year-old in the head yeah. and killed him, mm. he actually sat with the kid's father and uh, I think they ate food. Yeah, ate dinner, broke, you know, broke bread together. Right, so mm -hmm. which is uh, really bizarre. Yeah, but so, the main thing we want to say in this video, yeah, we're not going to paint black versus white in this video. Yeah, I don't know what was the motivation behind yeah. this killing. I just know it was pure evil, Yeah, and it was a tragedy. And everybody should walk away from this video knowing evil come in all colors, black, white, brown, and in everywhere in between. Yeah, uh, but again, the reason why we want to discuss this story is not to expect exploit death like the left does all the time. They, If these roles were reversed in yeah. this story, if Cannon was a black kid and he was killed at the hands of a white guy... They would paint this as a white supremacist and yeah. we need more gun control. Yeah, this would be... Uh, this would be mainstream news. Yeah. But... Because it's a white kid. And it's a black man who killed a white kid. You ain't going to hear anything it's about not. this. And it, this doesn't surprise me because in Chicago, when young black kids, where this happens mm -hmm. routinely, yeah. you don't hear no mention this, mainstream media, because yeah. it's a black kid dying at the yeah. hands of another black person. Yeah. If it was white involved, yeah. there would be front page news. Mm -hmm. That's why we're talking about this story, because the media yeah. is pitting... Left versus right, black versus white. Yeah, they're exploiting black death for political gain. That's why we're doing this video. Yeah, it's don't to tell, especially to you black folks, and especially to you white people on the left that's g feeling guilty because you're white. Yeah. They're exploiting both of y'all. They're using white guilt, and they're using blacks to destroy this country. And they're exploiting the racist um, past of this country Yeah. to exploit you emotionally. The why? Why? Why are they doing that? Politically motivated. Yeah. The only reason why they talk about a black man down at the hands of a white man is because it gets hits, it gets views, yeah. and it grabs votes yeah. for one party, the yeah. Democrats. This was just a white kid riding his bike. He wasn't some guy getting pulled over mm -hmm. by a white police officer punching the cop in the face, taking his taser, yeah. or getting into an altercation with a, a couple guys with holding a shotgun. Shotgun because you was uh, supposed on somebody else's property when you shouldn't have, yeah. when they're trying to make a citizen's arrest, yeah. and you grab that gun. This was none of that. It was just yeah. a white kid. Yeah. This should be mainstream news everywhere. Yeah. But the media is telling black men and they're exploiting white guilt that black men are being hunted down like they're animals. No, yeah. they will leave out very important details, very important yeah. facts. Black Lives Matter started on a lie, and yeah. it was proven by Obama's Justice Department. That hands up, don't shoot. Yeah. But Mike Brown, that was all a lie. That was all a lie. And that white police officer that was cleared, they ruined that man's life. Yeah. And you still pe see people today, black people and white people, who feeling guilty because they're white, wearing shirts saying, hands up, don't shoot. Yeah. 
because these people have not did their research. Yeah, they they also was cleared. He was justified in shooting that man. Yeah. That's why we want to do this video. The only reason why you, you won't hear about Cannon and stories like Cannon or about kids, Cannon's age in the inner cities of Chicago, Detroit, because, because the media can't exploit them. Yeah. I think it's sick that the media does that. And yeah. that's why we have riots going on in this country. Yeah. Not because this is a systemically racist country. The media has done an ethnic job yeah. in panning to everybody. Yeah. A, a lot of people in this country, that this country is systemically racist, and that white men are actually hunt down black men. That's why I can't stand behind Black Lives Matter, because now it's in sports, it's yeah. in NBA, the NFL. Black kids, 8, 9, 10 years old, they're exploiting them because they're watching that, and they're thinking that life doesn't matter. And that's yeah. the whole point. Yeah. This is all politically motivated. That's why I'm not going to look at an NBA game. Nope. I'm not going to look at one game. I'm not going to even no. look at the playoffs because of what y'all stand for. Y'all standing up for a lie. Yeah. So that is all a lie. This is what this is meant for people on the left yeah. and the right because I see people on the right starting to fall for this. Yeah, you're being evil, exploited. Yeah, evil comes in all colors and it all should be punted put in the forefront when it happens, regardless yeah. of race. That's why when you see stuff like what happened in El Paso, Texas, with that mass shooting, it yeah. was horrible. It should have got news. But if that shooter was black, they wouldn't have got front page news. Yeah, they put in that white mass shooter. What what they say? We need more gun control. He's a white supremacist. Yeah. He targeted people of color. Yeah. No, why? he was a radical. He was an evil person. Yeah. Why are you going to pin us, uh, divide us based on yeah. that man's race and based yeah. on his victim? No, evil is evil. Yeah, they do it because they can exploit people for votes. That's the only reason. Yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.